Hi everyone, today we're going to fit a multiple regression model to the OmniPower data that's available from the book's website. So we're going to enable the macros and we can see in the add-ins we now have pH stat. Then we'll go to regression, multiple regression. Now we need to specify our x and y variables. So our y variables are going to be the sales, which are in A1 through A35, and the first cells do contain uh, labels. So we'll leave that checked. Next we need to specify the x variable cell ranges. So those are going to be price and promotion. Next, we need the 95% confidence level. So alpha is 0.05, so we're not going to change that. We'll leave it as the default. And then we'll check the regression statistics table and the ANOVA and coefficients table. We're not going to get into the residuals right now. We pick a title and then we hit OK. And you can see right here you have your regression statistics, including the R squared and the adjusted R squared. And then down here you can see the intercept, the coefficient for price and promotion with the standard error. So the overall F test tells us that this model is significant. And then we can see from the p-values of price and promotion that those are also significant with nice t-statistics that would have been outside the rejection region. We can see that the confidence intervals don't include zero, which is great. And now that we've done a more simple multiple regression, let's explore all the bells and whistles. So and go to pH stat, regression, multiple regression specify the dependent variable, the independent variables, we have labels, we have our confidence level, we need ANOVA, the residuals, residual plots, and then we want the confidence interval estimate and prediction interval. We're going to specify that at 95%, hit OK. You can see all the additional tabs that appear you have the residual plot for price and um, the data used to generate that plot. And then you can see your prediction intervals um, and so on. Notice here that you can find the predicted sales for a particular price and promotion value. So let's say you want to know what your sales will be if you set the price at 60 and your promotion value to be 250. You can see now you have the predicted value for Y hat and for an individual response Y in the yellow boxes down below.